Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review on the Cartier Justin Clue bracelet, which I have in the small version. And this video is kind of a follow-up to a previous Cartier video that I did, which was specifically on the love bracelet. And you guys had mentioned that you wanted to see a video dedicated to the Justin Clue bracelet. So today I will not only be talking about the specific one that I own, which is the small version of the style, but also I will be comparing it to the original regular size Justin Clue bracelet, as well as also comparing it to the love bracelet too. And of course, I will also be sharing my thoughts on which of these two very popular styles I think is the best value for your money. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Carol and my channel is all about fashion, luxury, and style tips for the working woman. So if you like this video, I hope you stick around, watch a few more of my videos, and subscribe to my channel as well as ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every single Thursday. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So the small version of the Justin Clue bracelet is available in either the pink gold or yellow gold and either of these two options cost $3,050 US dollars. Unlike a lot of Cartier styles, the specific bracelet is actually not made in white gold and it's also not available with diamonds either. And I'm not sure if that has to do with the demand not being there or the structure of the bracelet doesn't really allow for it to be made with those materials. But I wouldn't say that you should necessarily rule out this bracelet just because there is a slimmed down variety to choose from. Of course, if you're set on getting the white gold version because you only like white gold or silver tone jewelry, or if you want one with diamonds on it, then this won't be the bracelet for you. But aside from that, I still think that it's a really beautiful bracelet, even though you might not be able to get all the different colors that Cartier usually has available. So I have this specific bracelet in the pink gold and I have this in the 15 centimeter size. So when I was at the boutique trying this bracelet on, I was first shown this exact bracelet in the pink gold. And when the sales associate put this on my arm, I actually thought that he might have brought out the yellow gold by accident because on its own, this definitely doesn't really look pink at all. And it wasn't until he put the actual yellow gold on next to this one that you could definitely tell that there is a bit of a coppery tone to the pink gold. It's still not really pink if that's what you're looking for, but I would say that it's a more elegant and mature looking color, if anything. And the yellow gold just didn't quite look right on my skin tone because I do have a bit of a yellow undertone to my skin and the yellow gold just really pulled all that color out and didn't look really flattering. Whereas this pink gold one, I thought really matched really nicely with my skin tone. To put the bracelet on, you just have to push open the two ends and slip it onto your arm. And once you have it on, the ends will just snap right back into place. So what I usually do when I put this on myself is I'll just use my wrist to push open one end and slip it on one side and then rotate the other end until it just snaps closed. And as you can see, it's really easy to put on and it snaps right back in place and there's no gaps or anything because although this bracelet is pretty flexible, it's also still sturdy. I mean, I've had this for 10 months at this point and I do take this off every other week to clean it. And it's still in almost perfect condition aside from maybe a few scratches on it. So as I did just say, I do take this off every other week to clean it because if you're wearing this every day and you're showering with it on or you put lotion on your arms, the bracelet, especially around the nail area, does kind of get a little bit dirty. There's a little bit of soap residue or lotion stuck on it. So I just take this off and put this in my ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. And after a few minutes in there, it comes out looking very sparkly again. So I'll leave the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner that I used in the description box below. But if you didn't want to buy something like that, you could also take a toothbrush with a little bit of soap 
and just gently scrub around the nail area and that will also clean it perfectly fine. So the regular size version of the Justin Clue bracelet is available in the same pink gold and yellow gold as the smaller version. On top of that, you can also purchase it in white gold or a variety with diamonds on it. So the yellow gold and pink gold versions cost 6,800 US dollars and the white gold costs 7,300 US dollars. And of course, the ones with diamonds cost significantly more than that. So if you're looking to purchase this bracelet on a budget, definitely stick with the smaller version because you do get the same exact style for the most part. So as for the pros and cons of these two bracelets, I definitely think that the original regular size Justin Clue bracelet has a much more mature look to it and really packs a big punch and will be the focal point of any outfit that you're wearing. On the other hand, the smaller version of the Justin Clue bracelet is a much more daintier looking bracelet and I think it's better suited for people who like their jewelry to complement their outfits instead of being the center of attention. Also keep in mind that the original size Just Include bracelet is a lot heavier than this daintier small version. And that really is reflected in the price because you are paying for the amount of gold that you get. So that one is very heavy. And if you're not used to wearing something that is super heavy on your arm, then that specific bracelet might not be the best fit for you. So for me, for example, I actually don't even like wearing a watch on my arm because I don't really like the feeling of it sliding up and down my arm. And when I was trying that regular size Justin Clue bracelet at the boutique, I was very aware of it moving up and down my wrist when I would lift up or put down my arm. So it just wasn't the most comfortable feeling for me. However, as much as I love the small version of this bracelet, I do have to say that the regular size is overall of better quality. And there's really two reasons for it. The first is I really like how that one has the hinge mechanism so you can just open it up and put it on your arm and quickly just snap it into place. While for this one, while it's not exactly hard to put on, you kind of have to like awkwardly twist it onto your arm. And it hasn't really gotten all misshapen or anything or warped over the 10 months that I've had it. But because this is kind of like a flexible metal, I do kind of feel like maybe it was just a matter of cutting costs. And the second reason is I think that the details around the nail of the regular size is a little more pronounced than this one is. And because the big selling point of this bracelet is the uniqueness of the nail itself, I think that having the details around the nail be more pronounced just kind of makes it look a lot nicer in my opinion, but really there are pros and cons to both of these bracelets. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on the Cartier Love bracelet specifically because I do have an entire video dedicated to it, which I'll leave linked up here if you're interested. But first, I just wanted to touch on the prices of these different bracelets because the prices are all over the place. So the Justin Clue bracelet in the small size actually costs less than the Love bracelet in the small size, but it's actually the opposite way for the regular size. So the Justin Clue in the regular size actually costs more than the Love bracelet in the regular size. So when you're trying to pick out the perfect bracelet to purchase, definitely do keep these price differences in mind because the price jump from one bracelet to another is close to if not over a thousand dollars. As for comparing the styles of the Just Include to the Love bracelet, I first of all want to say that I think both of these designs are absolutely gorgeous and I love that I do have both pieces in my collection so I could wear them together and they really complement each other very well but at the same time looking slightly different from one another. But I have to say that although I think the Love bracelet is very timeless and classic in its design, at the end of the day it still is a very simple bangle design. And what makes it truly special is the meaning behind it. So if you're thinking of purchasing this for yourself to celebrate a milestone or someone is gifting it to you or you're thinking of gifting it to someone else, 
then it definitely is a very special, meaningful gift. But as a general purchase, I would say that the Just Include bracelet is the better option because it is a more unique item. But at the same time, it has been around for a while, so I do think it's become a classic item of the Cartier brand as a whole. And of course, if you do decide to get the small version, this is the cheapest of all the bracelets that I've talked about today. So definitely this bracelet is the best value for your money. And actually, even for the larger regular size versions of these two bracelets, I still do prefer the Just Include bracelet in the regular size, just because I don't like the idea of messing around with that very finicky screw mechanism on the regular size love bracelet. So that is it for my video reviewing the Just Include bracelet as well as comparing it to the love bracelet. I really hope that you found this video helpful and informative and if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below which of these two bracelets you prefer, the Just Include or the love bracelet or if like me, you just love both of them. And also let me know if you think it's an issue that Cartier doesn't offer the small version of the Just Include bracelet in white gold. Is that ultimately the bracelet that you would pick out of all the options? And is Cartier potentially losing sales by not offering that? Let me know in the comments down below because I would really like to hear your thoughts on that. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on new videos every single Thursday. And I'll leave two videos up on the screen for you to watch next. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.